We hear a lot about when things go wrong in our school system. We hear when our schools aren't funded properly to do the job that they need to do. We hear when our teachers are overworked or the classroom is under-resourced. We hear those stories all the time. We hear about oversized classrooms and we hear about when our kids are put in the too hard basket, whether that's because they may have a disability or a behavioural issue, whatever it may be. We hear that story all the time. And unfortunately, we hear stories all the time of children who are bullied or who are discriminated against, whether that's in the schoolyard or in the classroom. But that's not what I want to talk about today. So today, what I want to talk about is a positive vision for change. What I want to talk about is the Victorian school system we can have. So as Gail mentioned, I'm going to be running you through the Stronger Schools campaign. It's based on a wildly radical premise that our schools can be stronger. Um, that phrase means different things to different people. Um, we say that a school can only be strong if it's also inclusive. A school can only be strong if it's engaging. And a school can only be strong if it's supportive, if it genuinely supports every student. We believe, if, believe a school is only strong if it's fully accessible, if it celebrates, actively celebrates the differences that students may have, and that if it listens to the student voice. A school is only strong if when children are experiencing challenges, and that does happen, the school pulls them closer in that moment. It doesn't push them away. And yes, a school is only strong if it's well funded, if it's well resourced, and if it's genuinely affordable for parents and for families. And if the staff have the tools and the training and the resources they need to do their job properly. In short, strong schools are those that have the ability to give every student and every child the best possible chance. Um, I was lucky enough to complete my high schooling at Melbourne High. Um, we had a, a school song. Um, it was a bit British and pretentious sort of sounding as you'd maybe expect, but it did have a good line in it. It said, strong like its pillars, our school stands behind us. Now, just park for a moment the fact that Melbourne High doesn't have pillars. Um, it's a really good line, it's a good metaphor, it's a great visual. Strong like its pillars, the school stands behind us. That's something we should be aspiring for for every Victorian school. That a school should be standing with strength behind its students. Um, we know from all the research that's been done that the experience our kids have at school sets them on a course for life. A positive experience gives them the practical and the social tools that they need to shape their lives in a positive way. And these children have a greater chance of experiencing health, happiness and opportunity. Pretty obvious, but so critically important. So the campaign as it stands has two key parts. Now, part one is about developing the right policy settings to make our schools stronger and to make them more inclusive. The good news is we've largely done that already. We've done that in partnership with Parents Victoria and with dozens of other organisations. Um, on our website, if you go there, and I know you've got those brochures, so you've got the web address, you'll be able to view that entire platform. It's very detailed and very um, expansive. It's essentially a to-do list for whichever party happens to find themselves in government after November. Um, it includes things, obvious, simple, basic things, like making education affordable. Again, not revolutionary. No family should have to choose between whether their kid gets a new winter jumper to go to school or whether they pay their electricity bill. They're not choices that should have to be made, but we know at the moment that is the calculation. The platform also includes asking for an increase in equity funding, which I know has been spoken about a lot already, and additional specialist interventions to boost the capacity of schools so they can support all students. In particular, increasing funding to support students with disabilities uh, and those that do have additional health or developmental needs. That's a key part of the platform. I encourage you all to go online and, and read it in its entirety. There is a sort of summary snapshot in that brochure you've got there, however. When we put all this together, as I say, this is a platform and this is a vision for strong schools that deliver and support all of our students. Now, part two of the campaign is about you. More than 200 individuals and organisations have already signed up to support the campaign, so that includes those you see represented on the screen over my left shoulder, um, but also individuals. That includes teachers, it includes parents, it includes principals, it includes social workers and community workers, mental health professionals, 
it includes anti-bullying advocates, and yes, it includes students themselves. As Gail mentioned, I'm from VCOS, so we are the uh, peak body of the community and social service sector in Victoria. Now, the political parties hear from us all the time. That's a good thing. Um, we're always telling them what they, what they can, what they could, what they should, what they shouldn't do. Um, and that's our job. But they do hear from us all the time. When it comes to education, one of the strongest voices is yours. So what we believe and what the campaign strongly believes is that our political leaders need to hear from mums, they need to hear from dads, they need to hear from grandparents, they need to hear from guardians, they need to hear from parents. You have that power. So that's why we need you to join our campaign and to give your voice to our vision for stronger schools in Victoria. And as has been discussed, where what was it, 94 days from the state election, 94 sleeps, makes it sound much more exciting than it really is. <laughs> but now is the time, now is the time to speak up, to have your voice heard and to affect that change. This is our moment. So before I leave today, we're gonna to give you a couple of things, concrete things you can do to help the campaign. This is a collaborative campaign. It's based on a coalition. And again, it's a simple theory, but it's working together. Working together, we can genuinely ensure that all of our schools are stronger, that they're accessible, that they're affordable, that they're inclusive, and that they work for all of our children. Um, so thank you for your time, and please do come and introduce yourself and get involved in the campaign. Thank you.